Hello everyone, I hope that you are all fine. In fact, I miss you all. In this video, we are going to talk about a very simple and useful rule of grammar. Actually, we are going to talk about reported speech. To improve your English, I think that we can all agree that learning English or learning languages takes time, effort and dedication. But the most successful language learners, they find a way for their language to become a part of their daily life just to become the habit, like brushing your teeth. If you want to improve your English, you have to practice it every day. To help you with this, let's start our today's lesson. My dear students, I want you to open your class books, page number 115. And now, we have to focus on these two pictures. Yeah? What can you see here? Yes, let's look at both of them. Yeah, I hope that you can see them clearly right now. Grammar, some nice grammar for you. At the beginning, I just want you to tell me who are these two people. Actually, they are the Caliph and Ibn al-Haytham. So, I want you to read the speech of the Caliph alone. And I want you to read the words or the speech of the sentences of Ibn al-Haytham alone. And now I'll give you time to read them. I'll give you time to read each sentence and try to identify or try to guess what is our rule for today. And I want you to focus on the red words. Okay, ready, steady, go. Yeah, the first one. Yes, Ibn al-Haytham is... A very clever man. Excellent. Number two. He is. He is what? He is a good teacher. Okay. Number three. There are many important things in his box. The next one here. So here we have three sentences. One, two, three. For the other part. Ibn al-Haytham speaks and says, Optics is a, is a very interesting subject. What the meaning of optics? Yeah, as we know, the science of studying light and sightseeing and something like this. So you can find this part, especially you'll find it where? In physics and science. Yeah, good, 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 yeah. The next one here, number two. Yeah, I want a clever one to read it. Magnifying glasses are amazing things. And the last one, I am good at mathematics. So here, why did I use sometimes is and sometimes are? I know that you, know, that you all know this rule of grammar, which is, yeah, verb to be. Verb to be in the present time. We have am is and are so here we have them in the present time what about the past yeah we have was and where okay so what is today's rule yeah anyone can guess this one let's read them again the first sentence here referring to number one Yes, number one with number one. So here, yes, you have it. Ibn al-Haytham is a very clever man. Who said this? Yeah, the caliph said that sentence. Did he say this sentence in the present time? Actually, no. So he said the sentence in the past. So when he was speaking, he said that he is a clever man. But now I'm reporting the speech of the caliph to my students or to someone else. So I have to speak about the time that he used this tense and I will be or, or I will use was to refer to the past because the caliph said this sentence actually in the past time. So here the caliph said Ibn al-Haytham was a very clever man. Okay, 10 out of 10 my dear student, yeah. This one is okay. So if you understand the first one, I want another one of you to come and read this one here. He is a good teacher. He is a good teacher. 
and remember these words that I wrote them here am is are in the past there was and were and I want you to use them am is are in the past both of them here will be was but this one alone will be were so here yeah he is a good teacher so he it will be he is or he was excellent who said this the caliph so I'll start the sentence with the subject the person who said this word yeah the caliph said he was a good teacher excellent number three I want another one yes who can come and do it yes so I want you to do it in your notebook right now yes number three there are many important things in his box so in the past when the caliph wrote, uh, read the book of Ibn al-Haytham, he found many important things. So he said, there are many important things in his box. And now we are going to report, to reset, or to say the words or the, the speech of the caliph. So we'll say what? The caliph said there were, because there were many important things. It's a plural noun, not a singular one. Yeah. Yeah, you have to put it in your mind now. With singular nouns, you use was. With plural, you use where instead of what, of are. Excellent. So number three here, the caliph said there were many important things in his box. Excellent. The number, yeah, number four, and then Haytham said, optics is a very interesting subject. So are we are going to change this one. And then Haytham said that optics was a very interesting uh, subject the next one magnifying glasses oh he said that magnifying glasses were amazing things so he were because glasses yeah in english when we have this word here yes what is this what can you see here yeah actually glasses but we don't say it's glasses we say they are glasses because we use plural noun to refer to this word and even also if you have genes we say are genes not is genes and so on okay i want you to put this in your mind too the last one he said he was uh, he was good at mathematics so we finished the first part of today's lesson and now let's move to the rest of the lesson we have to match them we have here from one to six we have two, six sentences and we have mm, six bubbles, speech or bubbles. And we want to just put for one, one number one with number with letter A and so on. Who can do this one with me? Yeah? I want someone to help me. Yeah, actually all of you can do this. So, let's just start. Yeah, number one, read it silently. And try to find its answer. So here, the Caliph said Ibn al Haytham was from Basra, Basra in Iraq. Yeah. So number one here is D. So we have to match it like this. We write here D. But we have to read it first. Yeah, Ibn al Haytham is from Basra. So this one is here became what was. Okay, number two. Yes, who can do it? A, he said that Ibn al-Haytham was in his son's teacher. Oh, was his son's teacher. So it's what? It's A. Ibn al-Haytham is my son's teacher. So he will write A, actually. You can write them from here. The next one, number three. Ibn al-Haytham said that a dam across the Nile was impossible. Was impossible. So we have to find this sentence. We'll find it was or is. Oh, so here. Mm -hmm. A dam across the Nile is impossible. So it's written what? B. Excellent. The next one, who can do it? He said that people suffered because of the flooding of the Nile. Mm, number four with E. People suffer because of the flooding of the Nile. That's it. Number five, who can do it? President Nasser said that Ibn al-Haytham, Ibn al-Haytham's dream was now a reality where is the sentence that has a president nasser 
so yeah who can tell me Ibn al-Haytham's dream is now a dream it's number what number four yeah with F number five with F the last one yeah President Nasser said um, Arabs were proud of Ibn al-Haytham yeah actually it is so we have finished the spot for today we have to move now to the workbook and I want you to do this one with me actually it is let's start here yeah here we have this one I've already answered both of the first and the second one was and was why teacher wasn't what the caliph said Ibn al-Haytham Ibn al-Haytham singular or plural yeah actually it is so it was so here you have to write was or were number two Ibn al-Haytham said one of his favorite subjects one of his favorite subjects not all of his subjects so no but one of them so it was the next one here yeah who can do it yes it's here Ibn al-Haytham said it impossible to build a dam it's impossible or it was impossible who can do this actually it takes what was or where yeah was yeah thank you my dear student number four the people said his ideas yeah ideas not one idea but all of his ideas were okay the next one yes here this one who can do it yes scientists recently said that Ibn al-Haytham a great scientist was or were mm -hmm. do you know this actually was yeah let's write it w a s the last one they said that his experiments mm -hmm, his experiments so we have to look here experiment only one or a lot of one yes more than one so it's a plural so was aware yeah i i can hear all of you around saying where okay that's it so i'll give you the rest of today's page here Mm -hmm. as homework and now my dear students I'm suggesting I'm suggesting that you do these new things every day and we are going to talk about how okay, and you make them a bit of fun too so come and check out now we are going to check out how to make this one like a fun do you like this we have it here yes Let's start this one. Yeah. Good. Reporter's speech. Part one. Yeah, I am relaxing in the garden. I'm relaxing right now. Fahad said. Yes, who can answer this one? Yes, Fahad said that he was relaxing in the garden. He was relaxing in the garden. Number two. I want another one to do it. Mm, I'm walking with Ali in the park. Abdullah said, I'm walking with Ali in the park. Yeah? Abdullah said that he was walking with Ali in the park. Yes. The next one, I like singing songs for my, for my friends. Talal said this sentence. So, Talal said that he liked singing songs for his friends. I am so angry today. So I will change the word am, it will be what? Yeah? Was. And I will be what? I am angry or he? Yeah, actually he. So the answer will be Khalid said that he was so angry that day. Okay? I play football for my school team. Muhammad said this sentence. So Muhammad said that he played football for his school team the next one i always do my homework sarah said so we'll start with sarah sarah said that she always did her homework i like skiing in winter turkey said that he liked skiing in winter let's go to this one here 
which is lovely job D. Yeah, here. One, two, three. You want someone to answer with me, and I'll send you this one and the previous one. You will have them. Okay. Here we will have like a competition. Aha! Uh -huh. I want someone to answer the first one. Talal said that he likes, liked, was liking. Who can answer this one? Let's try this. Mm, actually, no. What about this one? Good, my dear students. The next one. I'm so angry today. So, Carrot said that he is, had been, or was. Yeah, I am. So, in the past, it will be what? Yeah, it will be was. Really? Sure. So, check it. The next one. Oh, Muhammad said that he football for school team. He he did what? He plays or played? He said I play football for school team. So in the past, play will be. <laughs> yes, I am walking in the park with Tom. Yeah, Abdullah said that he was or he. Mm -hmm, I said I answered it already. So he walked or he was walking. The next one. I like skiing in winter. Turkey said that. He likes. Okay, check. Was. Mm, no. The last one. Now, to just, to, uh, today, my students, um, we have finished today's lesson. And I just want all of you if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me don't hesitate to send it to me and um, make sure that i will send you these two powerpoints one of them for uh, as presentation explanation and the second one for assessment and the games and um, like 22 questions you can answer and check your correct answer by yourself at home many thanks See you next time, inshallah.